For those of you who are not aware, there has been a case going through the English courts about a drone pilot who broke the CAA regulations and the case was concluded today and the man was, he pleaded guilty to it originally, his sentencing was today and he was sentenced. The guy's name is Mark Bagley and he decided to fly a, his drone, I think it's either a Mini 2 or a Mini 3, it certainly looks like a Mini drone to me, and he decided to fly it at Buxton Carnival where there was a fly past of a World War II hurricane going by and he knew this. And he decided it would be cool to fly the drone up beside the hurricane. Now, <laughs> what possessed them to think that this was not only against the law, but in any way a safe thing to do? I, I just I just don't know. Now, I, I know that some of my videos look as if I do some things that are a bit risky and dangerous, but this just takes the biscuit. So anyway... He was fined £3,000, <laughs> a hefty sum, right? Given a 12-month sentence, jail sentence, which was suspended, right? Which means if he gets in trouble with doing the same thing again, he will be going to jail for a year. And he was also, there he is, there's Mark. <laughs> right, there's the hurricane. So how... He was also given a, a community order, let me find where that is, right, a community order of uh, 100 hours of unpaid work, he's got, he's got a tag on, so he's got a curfew at home now, so he can't get flying after the curfew, uh, he has to pay the £3,000 fine plus costs of 450 quid and a victim surcharge of 154 I think that's maybe to the pilot, I don't really know. Uh, he could have been jailed for up to five years, okay? But he got a, a one-year jail sentence suspended. So, how did he get f caught? How did he get fun out? <laughs> well, apparently, um, it was someone else at the carnival. Let me see if I can just find it here. Yeah, the offences only came to light because of a member of the public who had been photographing the hurricane from the ground. To be honest, the photographer says, until I got the photos on the computer, I didn't know the drone was flying, or I didn't know the drone were flying, said the man, who asked not to be named, unsurprisingly. At first it looked like a bird or something like that, then I zoomed in and you could see the drone. He reported it to the CAA, <laughs> happened to me on a few occasions, and they told him to contact the police. Uh, the man says, I know all the regulations and I knew it shouldn't have been flying. I'm not, I'm not trying to take the, the pee out of this guy. <laughs> he probably did the right thing in this case. Uh, I don't think he was being a Karen. You know, he spotted a dr some... Mark, I'm sorry, some idiot flying a drone next to a hurricane in a fly pass, reported to the CA, reported to players. So the police arrested Bagley. Well, they, 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 they checked the... How, police searched social media. Right, he's, he's obviously put it up on social media. They searched social media to find out who might have been flying the drone. They found aerial images Bagley had taken that day. They arrested him, took his drone and downloaded the flight data, which overlaid the flight path hurricane and proved that the drone had been the one near the hurricane. Bagley initially denied the offences. Fair enough, you know. Deny, deny, deny until you're confronted with incontrovertible evidence. <laughs> And then he admitted it. So it was only when we started producing the pictures and the telemetry of the drone in the aircraft that he admitted what he had done, PC Moore said. There you go. So, <laughs> you know, Mark, eh, a bit crazy. He pleaded guilty to endangering an aircraft at a previous hearing. And he also admitted operating an aircraft out of the visual line of sight, meaning he flew his drone so far away he couldn't see it. He wrote an apology letter and read it out. Maybe that mitigated his sentence for five years, didn't he? One year, I don't know. So the, the fine, the £3,000 fine a year sentence, and probably wasn't because of the visual line of sight, uh, or fl him flying beyond visual line of sight. I would think it's probably because he endangered <laughs> an aircraft. You know, that's probably what the, the, the bulk of it was, I would imagine. So 
there you go. He, he, he was, his lawyer says he was very excited about the carnival. He thought he'd sufficient time to fly the drone before the flypads begin. I don't believe that for a minute. I believe that he thought, I'm going to get right up beside that hurricane and get some footage. Right? That's just what I think. I could be completely wrong, right? Uh, once the drone was up in the air, upon seeing the plane, he did realise his error and did halt the drone. Mm, doesn't look like that to, for the pictures to me. It looks as if he tried to fly alongside it and get some good, good footage. <laughs> There you go, he could have been jailed for a maximum of five years, right? He would have lost his job as an application engineer as a result of being jailed. Lose his house, right? So I think the judge has said that he only just concluded that the custodial sentence be suspended. So Mark Bagley was that close to actually getting sent away for this one here, right? So there you go. <laughs> what's, what's my conclusion of this, right? Oh, don't you I get rid of that? What's my conclusion about all of this? Um, if you're going to break the CAA regulations and you get caught, you have to face the consequences. But I think there's a difference between flying beyond visual line of sight over a loch, over hills, over open countryside where there's nothing there, and trying to fly right alongside a hurricane, a World War II hurricane, <laughs> and maybe wiggle your drone to the pilot of the hurricane. There's a bit of a difference there, right? Use common sense when you're flying. I'm not trying to tell you how to fly your drone. You know, I'll fly the way I want to fly, you fly the way you want to fly. But just bear in mind, you could end up with a £3,000 fine, plus costs, plus a curfew with a tag, plus 100 hours community service, Plus, a possible five-year jail sentence.